Stephen from Melbourne Real Estate. Just want to talk to you about redirections and our service and what that means for you as a client of this agency. So uh, with your investment properties, uh, it is most common that you would be required to pay the water service charges that relate to a property. Uh, if there is an owner's corporation or condominium that, or body corporate that relates to an apartment or a unit, um, then the owner needs to pay the owner's corporation uh, levies or um, contributions that relate to that matter. Uh, you would also be required to pay the council tax uh, that relates to a property and there might be other outgoings such as uh, landlord insurance that you might wish um, uh, at the agency to, uh, or with you, you would be required to pay yourself. Now, um, as part of our service and at no extra cost, we can arrange to uh, redirect all of those uh, invoices that come regarding your properties from your home or, or business address to our office. Um, we would then collect your rental income each month, pay all of the outgoings that are due each month as they fall due, um, and send you the balance. Now, that would all be also detailed in your monthly statements, so that would have the income and the expenditure for your property, and the copies of the invoices that we've been paid would also be attached to those statements, and they'd be visible for all time on your landlord app or on your landlord login. So it's a safe and secure way to ensure that bills aren't forgotten or overlooked um, uh, when they're being sent to you um, and it takes the hassle, uh, or one of the hassles, out of owning an investment property. So uh, if you're interested in that service, um, on the owner's instruction forms that we provide owners, there is a section that you can complete. Um, alternatively, you can contact your property manager at any stage and request uh, that they perform redirections that relate to your property. Now, what's the, uh, that's all the positives, what's the negative? Well, there's only really one, cash flow. So one month, if we're collecting $2,000 a, a month in rental for you, um, you might find that uh, uh, you know, $200 of that is consumed. Um, the next month, it might be $500 that is consumed in, in bills. The next month after that, it might be $1,500 that is consumed. So you would have varying income and cash flow and you need to keep track of that if you have mortgage payments that are coming out of that account and ensure that there's a buffer to be able to uh, meet your mortgage obligations in the, in the property um, without um, going into the, you know, those sort of difficult cash flow situations. So if you're comfortable with your setup in that you'd like us to do that, we're happy to do it. If you prefer to do it yourself so that you can manage your, your funds as you prefer, um, maybe collect credit card points, whatever it is uh, that, that interests you, then again, we're happy to do what you want with your investment property. Thanks for watching.